Hey guys, it's Jackpot G Lars. This famous Joe. Long Island's hardcore detectors. Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> guys, I just found something. It's pretty incredible. We're trying out this spot. It's an experiment. And it has been absolutely scarce of signals. Like, there's nothing at all here. And I just got like I just got a shotgun show here, and I've been rubbing on this thing. I called Joe over. Joe over. I've been rubbing on it, guys. I don't know what I just found, but Joe thinks it might be a gold pocket watch. And the way it came out of the ground, just like this, I think it's a gold pocket watch. And then watch when I rub on one of the spots; it comes right off, pretty much. It's hard to like to show you guys, but it's not like corrosion spots it comes right off i think that's gold wall tan i'm gonna have to look that up wall tan and i have the little piece of the top to it i put it in my bag it's like gold and underneath there's like iron and copper because the parts on the inside are iron and copper or whatever but i think the outside is all gold not a gold plating but like a like the whole the all the metal on the outside is gold that is Oh my god. I'm gonna have to see oh my I'm gonna have to get a test or something on the way home. That is amazing. <laughs> We're about to head out of these woods too. We're gonna go over to some colonial a colonial spot where you got a uh, 1740 uh British penny, so man, wish us luck guys. This is this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Guys, okay, so I just walked over from that uh pocket watch an amazing pocket watch goes right over there and i was getting a really shallow 76 signal and i believe i just got a token joe came over and took a look at it he's not sure what it is either but on this side there's a design in the middle and there's writing on the outside i know you guys can't really see it but there's like a weird little like dot right in the middle i don't know if that like i don't know i don't think it's a copper though it's too light and um yeah i don't know definitely definitely gonna be old i think I'll let you guys know when I clean it up at home. See if we can find some more. You guys, just got an, another little relic. It's a copper thimble. A little bit crumbly, but maybe it used to be silver plated. Not sure, but pretty awesome. See if we can find some more. You guys, just got an awesome find. It's a flat button. I love finding these flat buttons. This place started out so terrible and it just turned up so fast in the last like 30 minutes. That's an awesome find. First flat button of the day for both of us. A little corroded, but let's see if we can find some more. Hey guys, I think I just got my second flat button. Well, actually I know because I can see it. And, um... Pretty small. I want to show you, it's like right on what we think might be a road coming down. Like, right here. You see, like, it goes up that way. And then it just goes into a thorn thicket over there, though. But that's right where I found one of my two flat buttons. Let's see if we can find some more. Just got my third little button. It's not really a flat button, but it's definitely old. And it's right in line with that road still. Joe just went where I was. See if I missed anything, and the road goes on that way. It's working out so far. Let's see if we can find some more. Go, Joe! You guys just got my uh, fourth flat button today. Now I'm like right next to the little road. Ooh, hopefully Joe gets a flat button over there. Still looking for his first. Keep getting shotgun shells, it's been a little rough, but I know he'll get something. I'll let you guys know. Guys, you're not gonna believe what legendary Joe just found. This is crazy. He's like, it's too shallow. It's gonna be modern. He found that gold uh, watch or whatever, and then yeah, he's like, like I'm having a bad buttons, day. But this makes it all worth it, dude. It's hard to see with the. Oh, Can you see it good? Yeah. That is that your thickest real? Half real? <laughs> Rang up seventy six, seventy seven. Right, screaming. It might be my thickest real. Well, the back's definitely my thickest, but the front took some wear. I think I got a better yeah, front. Yeah, show them the out. back. The back was so nice. Wow. I think it would be that way. 1817, half real. Dang, old, man. Old farmland here. Was not expected. Wow. With my pinpointer, too, so. 
I'll let you walk out of here. Like I said, true. Yeah. At the end of the day, he's gonna come. Home. Actually, I'm probably gonna leave now. I'll let you. Oh, no, no, no. Just like ten minutes. I gotta, I gotta go get a Christmas tree. So. Maybe I'll celebrate more. Hanukkah this year. Okay. Ten more minutes. Congrats, Joe. Thank you, man. Joe just got. No, nah, that's alright, Real guy. <laughs> He's told me to pound this area right here, trying to find a Real. I was getting a screaming signal, I was like, please. But it was this awesome buckle. But I wanted that Real. Uh, I know, I'll get it though. Guys, I actually just got a coin, and it's and me and Joe believe it's an Indian head penny. That's what I definitely think it is. I was really, really praying, praying for a real, but I'll take an Indian head penny. It's a good find. Let's see if we can find some more. Only like an inch deep, kind of like the real. Here are the finds from another one of Joe's amazing locations, colonial spots. Go check out his channel, Long Island's Hardcore Detectorist. He posted the video already, uh, showing his amazing real. Absolutely beautiful. I made some good finds too. Um, a ton of shotgun shells, but I already threw them out. I got a whole bunch of this, like, random copper stuff. I thought this was going to be a rosette thingy, but it's not. It's starting to crumble. And then um, I got some buckles. I mean, that like, kind of looks like an earring, but I don't know what that is. A couple buckles, two different types. Uh, copper thimble. Kind of like breaking apart. It's a good relic, though. Uh, I got some flat buttons. That one's broken, but these ones are nice. London quality, that one said. That one was cool. London quality. And then I got this token, which it says Tandem Vin Vincenter. And, um,. It has something to do with the coat of arms, and, and Joe thinks, um, and there's like a torch with like flames coming coming up there, and when Joe and me were looking it up, it's uh, um, it's like a merchant's token, and the dates are like the, in the 1600s, so it might be a 1600s merchant token, and they kind of use this as currency, and there's a whole bunch of different types, so it's hard to figure out the exact identity of this token but uh that's what we believe it is a merchant token from the 1600s which would be absolutely epic um i also got a 1909 indian head penny rang up exactly like joe's real i was really hoping and of course i was looking to see if it was 1909 s i didn't see any s but that's still pretty cool 1909 and um here's my find of the day it pretty, it's pretty amazing, actually. I've never found a stopwatch other than, like, copper. And um, I'm pretty sure this is gold-filled. Um, that's what I think it is from looking, looking it up online. And I brought it to the jeweler, and he said it wasn't gold, so... It wasn't solid gold, so I'm guessing it has to be gold-filled. And when I was looking it up, the Waltam uh, watches, I think, like, 95% of them... Um, or only 5% of them are solid gold, so I'm pretty sure this is, uh, gold-filled. That's what a lot of them online said. They were gold-filled, so. Still, that's pretty awesome. A gold-filled pocket watch. Probably from the mid-1800s. That's when pocket watches were big. But that is an amazing piece. I think that comes in, uh, second place for today behind the Real. But, um, definitely some amazing finds. And uh, honestly, I like looking. I like looking at that. It's nice. It's, uh, I've, I've never found gold fill that good looking though. So it kind of seems like it's real gold, but apparently it's not. But I've also had two occasions where I've gone to the jewelers with gold, and they said it's not gold. And I've been like, what? No way! And then brought it to other jewelers who said it is gold. So I'm gonna also. I'm just gonna bring it to another jeweler anyway. But still, guys. An amazing day, some amazing finds. Go check out Joe's channel. And I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching and happy hunting.